Hi, Crafter Geek here. Today we're going to discuss some tips on baking a cake at home and making it look a little bit more professional with some quick and easy tips for you. The first thing we're going to discuss is called cake release. Uh, this one is by Wilton. Uh, I always end up using Wilton. I had used CK products once and normally I love CK products but I did not love their cake release. Now what cake release is is when you make a cake recipe you'll often notice that the first step is to put down butter and then flour over it. What that does is it helps the cake release from the pan when you turn it out. However, you have to do this within 15 minutes because what happens is the butter solidifies and then you're going to get your pan stuck in there. Uh, cake release does not solidify. So you can actually keep your cake in the pan until they're completely cooled and I even actually store them overnight in the pan uh, until I'm re ready to ice them the next day and I just put a layer of aluminum foil over it in the whole cake pan and it's going to turn out perfectly fine with the cake release in there. Uh, to work the cake release, just put it down in the pan and one of my favorite life hacks is just use in the sandwich bag and making sure that you are getting the bottom and the sides in a fairly even uh, but not too thick layer. Uh, sometimes if it gets a little too thick in there, it's going to make your cake a little extra moist in a not good way. Uh, but a nice even layer of that on there will work fine. Now, something a lot of my friends actually ask me about is what I refer to as the dreaded cake hump. Uh, what ends up happening when you are baking a cake is that the outsides will bake faster than the middle and that's what causes the middle to rise slower and sort of harden the outside quicker than you'd like to. And this happens because of the edge of the pan. Now, uh, this great little invention are the bake even strips and you put this around the outside of the cake. Uh, we're gonna wet it down. And then kind of slightly wring it out a little bit and then simply wrap around the outside of your pan and they come with t-pins and you just stick the t-pin in there so the wet outside strip is going to keep your rim of your pan slightly cooler so it'll bake slightly more evenly and you're going to have a lot less of a hump Hi, it's tomorrow and my cakes have cooled overnight in the pan and I've now turned them out. Um, as you can see, even with the big even strips, uh, there's still a little slight hump on that cake. Uh, so I'm going to show you probably the most important thing that you can do to make your cakes look professional at home. Uh, it's a cake leveler. Now they sell these at different sizes and different shapes. Uh, the basic gist is it's going to cut your cake, the top, right off your cake to make it even. And there's these little ridges on the side and you just match them up and adjust it to whatever height uh, you need your cake. Uh, generally, I leave a little bit of cake there so you're cutting straight across the whole cake. And what you do is you hold your cake down slightly and just start sawing with a little back and forth movement. One final tip I have for baking at home is to use a cake board uh, with the foil over it. Uh, these can be found at any craft store or online for the most part, and they're sold in different widths, and they're sold uh, just as plain boards, or some are actually decorative and you don't have to cover with foil, uh, but they come in a variety of shapes and sizes, so whatever size cake you're making, you can probably find one for it. Um, when you're doing a heavier cake, uh, maybe if you're going to put fondant or something over it, I'll use three boards. 
and actually stack them so that the green are going opposite ways, just to give it a little bit of extra strength. And then you can cover it with foil um, and make it sturdier in one piece. They also sell cake drums in a lot of craft stores, which is gonna be a thicker drum uh, with the foil already on it, but it's a lot more expensive than doing it this way. All you have to do is choose your cake board, choose whatever color foil you wanna use. Uh, typically it comes in gold and silver, but you can find other colors. Make sure you are using food safe foil, however. Uh, all you have to do is cut it, uh, put a glue stick, and glue stick it down, and you've got a nice looking cake board to put your final product on. All right, I hope this has been an inspiration and have given you some ideas. Uh, and I am a professional at this, but I still want you to try it at home. Thank you.